balancing assimilation and accommodation to create scheme that fit the environment. And the last is the four stages of logical thinking, which is the sensory motor, preparational, concrete operational, and formal operational. Sensory motor infants use their sensory and motor schemes to act on the world around them. Preparational, youngsters acquire symbolic schemes such as language and fantasy that they use in thinking and communicating. Concrete operational, the child begins to think logically and become capable of solving problems. And lastly, the formal operational, which the adolescents learn to think logically about abstract ideas and hypothetical situations. that we learn because of our unique characteristics, but some sense that we learn because of our environment. So what speaks at you? It's a deal whether it's the nature or a nature. So for today, we are going to analyze John and Jay's cognitive learning theory, whether we learn because we have our unique characteristics to learn, or we learn because of our environment. So is John Piaget's cognitive learning theory a nature or a niche? The answer is, it is both. We learn through ourselves and through our environment. Why? Let's get into the nature first. We have our motor senses. Our sense of sight, hearing, tasting, smelling, and touching. And to make sense of these senses, we have our environment. We need people, objects, and other things for us to learn. So, John Piaget's cognitive learning theory is two ways. We needed our nature, our motor senses, and we needed our nurture, our environment, to make sense of our senses. So, when nature and nurture are combined, we have our experiences. And with these experiences, we learn. So, John Piaget's cognitive learning theory is both nature and nurture. Because again, we have our motor senses, and for our motor senses to function, we need an environment. And with this two combined, we learn. We have come to a lot of information, theory, studies that best describes kung ano nga ba yung internal process ng development ng isang tao. During the previous time, yung mga tao na or mga scientists, or mga doctors, psychologists, they want to fill in new unanswered gaps or questions, which is very curious to them as well as very relatable to them. One of the great men who gave benefit to the field of psychology, na kung saan yung theory na ginawa niya is um, very relatable and give the best explanation for the internal processes of the human development. At dahil nga dito sa theory na ginawa ni PGA, mayroong four stages ng human development. First is the sensory motor stage, the pre-operational -pre stage, the concrete stage, and the formal stage. So, bakit nga ba naging change ang isang um, or yung theory na ginawa ni PGA? From the four stages pa lang, masasalahin natin na change siya. Kasi itong apat na stages na to, nagbabari siya sa development ng isang tao at nagbabaya din siya sa age. For example, sa sensory motor stage, nagbabaya siya from birth to 2 years old. And then, depende rin yun. First stage, kung ano yung characteristics at capabilities ng isang bata hanggang sa pagkanda niya. To elaborate, ano nga ba yung inclusion first stage ng development ng isang tao from birth to adulthood? So first, the sensory motor stage, and then the um, development of senses of a child through experiences, and and then from 
are simple reflexes to a development of habits. Ang din din yung nagiging aware yung isang bata sa paligid niya, which is called the object permanent. To learn more, we learn how to run, we learn how to walk, we learn how to see that enhance our physical mobility. And sabi, yun sa pag-enhance ng physical mobility natin is nag-enhance din yung cognitive development ng isang bata. Moving on to the next stage, which is the pre-operational stage. Uh, they say that ang isang bata is naturally Such example is what is John Page's concept of assimilation, wherein the child is the one who creates schemes or internal cognitive instructions for him or her to function. One example is when a child holds the ball. At first, the child assimilates the ball. He assimilates it by by grasping it so that he can create schemes through his senses. From that, the child is active in forming experiences throughout his exploration. Meanwhile, in the discussion of the nature and nurture debate, John Page's theory of cognitive development is actually both nature and nurture. How? Because John Page has this concept called equilibration, wherein the child will alter his experiences that will best fit the environment. One such example, again, is by looking at our previous examples. So when the child holds the ball, he assimilates the ball, he realizes that 
this ball has this kind of sense. And, he, and when he holds another ball or an, another object, he will realize that this object or this ball or anything is not actually equal with the ball that he held in the past. So he will realize, he will adapt his grasping scheme by altering it, by holding it in a different way than from the other ball that he held in the past. So with that, that actually explains the nature and nurture wherein the child's internal cognitive processes will interact with the influences of the environment. Lastly, in terms of discussing changes and stability, John Vijay's theory of cognitive development is all about changes. Why? As John, ex as John Vijay explained, there are actually stages of cognitive development. The first one is what we call sensory motor stage, where it's all about motor actions. The next one is the pre-operational stage, which is all about symbols to communicate. The third one, called pre-operational, is all about thinking logically. And last but not the least, is all about formal operation, which is all about abstract reasoning. So this explains that the learnings and the development of the child is not stable all throughout his life. Through each stage, there are actually new learnings, new experiences, new cognitive developments that changes all throughout and precedes the other. All in all again, John Pajay's theory of cognitive development is active, both nature and nurture, and lastly, change. John Pajay's theory did actually gave a number of information, a number of vital knowledge when it comes to the cognitive developments of, the ch of children. But it does lack the explanations of the developments from the different stages.